So, Holy Crusaders versus the Get Money. Let's see. Ooh, we're at 1,299 followers. It's going to be the 1,300 dude. I'm going to follow you. You're already following us. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, you, what? <laughs> right. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Prepare for battle. Draw your swords! So, obviously as well, because on the main server you're only allowed to use tier 3 units. They, they couldn't have their, their warbands already set up. So what they have to do is, is obviously repick their unit. It looks to me like the Get Munchers have got the exact same units. They still have three sets of cavalry out for the beginning of the match. The attackers pretty much look like they've got the exact same setup as well. They've got a Tercio again. They've got a couple of crap tier stuff to push things. A couple of palace guards. And they are light on anti-cavalry like they were just. That looks exactly the same as well, good, good, no weird going. Good to see. Again, uh, three short swords for the attackers, one long sword, four moles, oh, like three muskets. And the defenders have got the exact same hero classes they just had when we had to. I'll have a quick look. I'll have a look around with the with the mouse if you can see anywhere what got what uh, any got room. Hopefully nobody does have room. We don't want to have to disqualify a team. That would would be bad karma. Right, I assume it's on the left though, what? runes. Nobody has runes. Good. Nobody's got runes. Good, good, good. If I notice like loads of hero class changes, I'll check again, but it looks like nobody's got ults. Good. Right. And Holy Crusaders look like they're doing the exact same thing. They've got a lot of stuff stacked on the western side. They're going to mainly concentrate on that one tower. Um, because the unit set up for the defenders looks basically the same. Yeah, it looks like they've basically got the same thing. I still doubt that they're actually going to defend, uh, defend A. It looks like they're going to pull off and sit on. We'll go back over and see if Coffee's changed his disgusting armor. Nope, he's still got eye cancer armor on. And look at that hair though. Like, horrible green hair, grey beard, and then just that as armor. Like, apparently Coffee just has no taste. <laughs> Terrible armor. Kill him! <laughs> Apparently the people in the artillery over there agree with me. This just looks horrible. They're like, oh my god, just kill it, please. <laughs> right, what's going on over here? Not much. Oh, obviously this is the beginning phase of the game. It's always the same, really. A Jamie to remember. How are you doing, bud? You just noticed I'm streaming baguettes. I was watching a French stream, so thanks. <laughs> I mean, if you're on the CBR Rivals Discord, here's the link to it, by the way. All the matches are posted in there with the streamers that are covering them, like the English streamer, French streamer, German streamer, Turkish streamer, Russian, Polish, whatever we've got available. It's all written down basically in, um, and see who's streaming what, basically. So you can either choose the matches you want to watch because the teams that are playing, or if you prefer a extreme and then you can go through the matches they want to go through and see if they can have any which is always so feel free to to join the discord boys and girls or maybe girl i have no idea how many are going to be watching but you never know right it looks like the baguette munchers have already pulled off of the wall and because coffee's in the team right we have to assume baguette munchers means that they like they like sucking the old schlong I think I think that's what that's probably code word for baguette munchers, isn't it, Liam? What do you reckon? Hundred percent. Hundred percent liked slurp on the, the the peepees. I think I think that's what I think that's what we're going with, we're going with. It must be the case. I mean, look at this. Clearly, somebody that likes to stroke the shaft of other people. Let's say. <laughs> oh my days. 
Why am I like this, Liam? I'm blaming you. I was I wasn't I was innocent before I met you. I never made any jokes. Was never never <laughs> Do you reckon that's believable in the slightest? Probably not. Eh? Nope. <laughs> Dutch knight who had runes on, I don't know. Apparently it was somebody from the Holy Crusaders, but nobody has runes now. And a Jamie to remember is a 1,300 follower. Much appreciated to everybody with the follows. All 1,300 of you. I mean, let's be honest, you're all shit. But, you know, I have to pretend that I like you. <laughs> Just the way it goes. <laughs> I bet it was Silent Warrior. GG guys, no runes, are ye? Right, so let's see what units have got up. The attackers have got some Tercios up. They don't... They've got one flame for later on in the fight. They've got another Tercio for later on in the fight, and that is it. Obviously, Falconettes were banned. Shenjis were banned. The defenders have the Kalian. They've got a couple of sets of flames for later on in the fight. Tercios have their, their own as well. Right, so it looks like... Holy Crusaders are doing a split push, but only three over there and the majority on this side. Hmm. Right, let's, let's zoom in on the main fight here. Palace Guard's getting thrown in. No flames going down. Where are the flames? The Kaelin thrown in. Now that is going to do work there. From both teams, flames going in, though. These need to get killed. Starburst is jumping on them. These here need to get killed as well. Ooh, very nice IPG walk, though. Holy Crusaders crushed that. Cavalry from the behind, though, is not going to be nice. Javelin's doing work as well. Even more cavalry coming, cataphracts. These Madawi need to get killed. Uh, the Outriders are thrown in on them the whole time. The defenders have just dropped five heroes, though. Just dropped six heroes. Only two for the attackers. Unit-wise, the defenders definitely lost almost double than the attackers did there. So very good push from Holy Crusaders. Very decisive. They're constantly killing even more and more of the heroes as well from... Baguette Munchers. So, Baguette Munchers are going to have to be careful here, man. They've just been stopped on the spawn here as well. So, these heroes could easily kill another Short Sword here, and they've basically just wiped the whole team. He's got them off of the point as well, and there he's dead. They're putting pressure straight up on B as well, so Holy Crusaders, even though they don't have units with them, just causing panic and disarray in the back lines. Very good play. Why is somebody from Baguette Munchers got... Why has he got his village watchman out already? Unless they just don't really plan on fully defending B and want to... That's a bad decision, though. That could be a good treb. Tercios and two sets of flames out for the defenders. So it looks like they're going to go all in for this push. Here comes the main push from Holy Crusade. I'm going to turn this way so we can actually see the fight. Apologies. Hope nobody gets seasick. So the main push coming through here. There's a good wedge in the, the corner here. Trusty Bell and Black and Red are going to flank round, though. Trusty Bell with... That Prefecture fight? Don't know. I, I'm not going to waste my time looking. Amiga's charging along the wall here. Maybe we should have gone up into the towards the B point. The Kaelin going off. Tercio's here firing away. That is a very solid Zerg though from Holy Crusaders. I like that push. That Treb's going to do work as well. These flames up on the top here are not going to do much. The, at oh, least the two models up there, because they're just shooting in a straight line above the uh, above the point. They've just been moved, though, so the, the, the flame user's seen it. I think Holy Crusaders are pushing far enough to stop this, though. Flanking cavalry coming from the defenders, I believe that was. Very nicely played. A couple of more defenders coming in from behind here as well. 11-10 hero-wise, unit-wise. Holy Crusaders are absolutely stomping so far. It's still about double. On the point, it's mainly blue units, so the attackers have got B. There's some reds coming in the back here, Modao and Palace Guards. They might be able to get in. These, the Kaelin, are very close to the front line as well, so they could easily get killed. There's enough of the defenders on B, though, to stop them. And honestly, on this point, co like oh, committing more to Bs more, makes more sense than defending the end point. The end point is so easy for the attackers to get a... Uh, I get a surround off and absolutely ruin you. And you can start hitting Trebs on the end point as well, so. Forget Munchers are out, though, for B. I think, honestly, I think they've lost. <laughs> Maybe slightly premature. Um, but they've lost so many units, man. They've lost 670 to 400 of Holy Crusaders. Unless Holy Crusaders have just got loads of trash, which they've got a fair bit of trash, to be fair, once they've lost their main units. 
but they've got 13 trebs. They have a 400 unit advantage. Although they might be lacking quality, we'll see. And they've got nine minutes to take the end point. Right, so the defenders, they've got Tercios out, they've got Mandal. They don't have any flames, which is unfortunate. The attackers, I don't think they use their flames yet. We'll see in a second. I'm going to double check to make sure nobody's got runes while well, well, there's a lull. Nobody has runes. Good to see. Right. So they're, they're doing a big, big defense in the corner here. Um, a very good tactic that works on this team when well, on this team on this map, sorry, is you, you you resupply over here. You push along here to make everyone rotate. You push around to this backside. You can even do it from this side, really. But you you want to be mainly in this area to stop reinforcements coming in. If the defenders push over to to try and block you here, you can treb all of this area, and then it's GG's. Man. We'll see though. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Jamie to remember coffee loves the cock. <laughs> <laughs> and dance roll. Do I agree that bubbles is stupid? Short answer, yes. <laughs> yes, yes I do. <laughs> Looks like uh Holy Crusaders are gonna do like a normal siege push though, which is interesting. I suppose they can see that there are no flames upon uh up, so they don't really have to worry about that. There are still Zakalian though, and there are still Tercios. These Madawi are going to get ruined by the Javelins. And Treb. And the Treb, yeah. Now they're moving shields in the way, though. Maybe a little bit too late, but we'll see. This corner is going to be tough to dig out. Obviously, they can't build any... Ooh, Trusty Bell just died to Akel. Three of the defenders down already, which is not a good look. That Treb's going to do work on the Madaw on the shields over here. Even more Madaw moving in as well, because they've seen units back here. That's... Yeah, there we go. Whew. That third... Third Madaw was lucky though. They pushed into the back here into some halberds. The flames up for the def uh, for the attacker. Sorry, there's only one guy though. That's just been taken out by the looks of it as well. So that flame flames now gone. Cavalry from behind. Is that Cataphrax? That is Cataphrax. Didn't seem to get his two ability off quite as well he, 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 as as he would probably have liked though. No coffee. He died too young. Oh no, there are more flame models up. Okay, just for some reason on that first one we only saw one guy shoot. And they've just absolutely swarmed that corner. Obviously, the flames just stunlocked the majority of the blob. Cavalry's just run over it. Arm, uh, Army goes. Palace Guards have run over it. They had fought Brachio there. They had IPGs. Very, very clean push from Holy Crusaders. Timing of it was very well done. So now they have to get something in the back here to block it. I think they were slightly too slow with that, though. Oh, Tercios, though. We're going to ruin stuff jumping in. Trusty Bell's only a short bow as well, so he's going to have a very hard time with actually staying alive. Coffee's trying to get around here as well. He's just been pulled off his horse and died. And GG, first round to Holy Crusade is a very, very strong attack there. Very strong attack, if I do say so myself. That was clean rotations. Aggressive on the push when they did push. They pushed as a team. They used their abilities when they needed to. They seen when they made an opening. They didn't just mess about. They rushed in on the B with just heroes to so just basically cause as much chaos as possible. Extremely well played from Holy Crusaders there. And Peepo with the MVP, 135 units, 6 assists, 3 heroes. Very Ooh, Yuki Shimoto, 8, 0, and 16 with 95 units. Shout out that guy. 2 Flamers, nine to 6 Akalian as well. So these these 2 units here, Akalian and Sifirofanoi, are big, big kills. 4 Sifirofanoi for Peepo as well. Very, very well played, my guys. That was clean. That was a clean, clean, clean fight. Very nice rotation. King Ruben as well. MVP for the defenders. 0, 3, 6, and 33. Obviously, Holy, Cru uh, Holy Crusaders. Baguette Munchers, uh, their heroes died a lot more than Holy Crusaders did. Very nice game, though. Let's have a look at the, the statistics. So, as you can see, the defenders got smashed on it on every yeah, single fight that. 45 heroes to nine nine yeah that was very well played by holy crusaders very nice to see very <sighs> nice to see i told you baguette munchers would lose just having a name that's too french is just never good karma i'm telling you <laughs>